perfection is not attainable but if we chase after perfection we can catch excellence and hello everyone and welcome to our epical music and entertainment channel you are watching the program special talks with me ram and technically supporting me anil and also in this program we discuss about different educational issues challenges and opportunities for effective and successful teaching learning process with different scholars so today we are honored to have the most dazzling and energetic personality who deserve young scientist award 2074 by nepal academy of science and technology and he is none other than assistant professor dr prem singh saud in our program so let me welcome him in our program first of all welcome to our epical music and entertainment channel and thank you for joining with us thank you and the whole epical entertainment group for this talk how is your life running it's going well but after awarding this young scientist i'm a little busy in media and different organization are warning me and so at first many many congratulations for deserving young scientist award 2074 by nepal academy of science and technology thank you very much where are you busy nowadays nowadays i already told you a little busy in media and different organization are uh, honoring me and another is as usual teaching field okay sir let's go back to your childhood let's talk about your childhood how do you remember your childhood okay actually i was born in malakheti team kailali i completed my schooling in guwahati secondary school and then i skipped from 9 class in saraswati secondary school geta after that after my slc examination i admitted sitna science campus after completing intermediate i migrated kathmandu for the bachelor bsc after then i joined master degree in tribhuvan university you have completed your phd sir why did you complete your phd education sir yeah of course after completing my master degree nil about th- after 13 years i think i completed my phd in republic of korea that is south korea in chonbuk national university uh, after completing my master degree i think my further study because i have been interested in research field therefore i applied so many university out of them uh, one of the national university in korea that is the name is chungbok uh, national university uh, professor selected me i wrote a pro- uh, proposal i pa- i passed i ielts and they take the interview in the sky and i selected and i joined thank you sir and in which discipline you have completed your phd sir actually my master degree is in organic chemistry but i completed my phd nano science and nano technology nano science and nano technology is the combination of interdisciplinary subject nowadays this is the very versatile subject it is the combination of the biology chemistry physics engineering biomedical etc that's nice sir okay sir we'll talk uh, let's talk about your teaching career sir where did you start your teaching career and how do you join in kailali multiple campus after completing my phd uh, sorry my master degree i joined police boarding school she stayed near the tangadi chaura uh, i was there nearly about 11 month then there was vacancy in the tangadi engineering college then i joined there nearly about 5 year i was there and during that time also i, I taught so many private colleges like farwaist technical college salisuri college where yasi lab technician and basudi gutsama bhi uh, there was there is still agriculture and surya uh, multiple campus and after that a uh, new program kmc uh, launched new program uh, ic 10 plus 2 science stream then 
I selected here. Okay, sir, you have deserved Young Scientist Award 2074 by Nepal Academy of Science and Technology. How do you feel, sir, by getting? Well, it is very extraordinary moment for me, but it is very silence also because I am very far from the capital city of the Kathmandu and the environment is not so good for the further research. Therefore, I am trying, what can I do according to the environment of the far west region? Have you ever imagined that you will be a scientist in the future time, sir, in your life? This is a good question, but actually, I did not think that I will be a young scientist. But because of my the work, Nepal government, believe me, What uh, has motivated you to be a scientist, sir? What has motivated you in your life? Yes, actually, my subject is science. So, after completing, uh, during study, my study in bachelor or master degree, I think, why such type of new, new invention? How? Why? I think myself. Then, how to, how can I study further in research field? Therefore, I studied and searched in Google and different university, reputed university in the abode and therefore how to I how how can I save that university then I process for that. Okay, what was your topic of your research sir, that enable you to deserve Young Scientist Award? Actually my research field is I have already told you my research field is nanoscience and nanotechnology. And in during my PhD co course I work about the photocatalyst. A photocatalyst is the catalyst we enhance the rate of the chemical reaction and actually I synthesize the nanomaterial, nanofiber. And that material, uh, as we know that in every country there is so many industry like uh, textile industry and during uh, uh, manufacturing of the different type of the cloth, for example your shirt is white, my Paint, this is black and to prepare, uh, to prepare such type of the cloth that industry imparts the color for that water is solvent and after imparting color there is side product that side product is colored water with different types of the color and when this color ultimately goes to the water source that gets the polluted therefore my material which I synthesize is to make colorless and the bacteria which are present in the polluted water will be destroyed. Thank you for that information, sir. Okay, what were the complications while you are doing research, sir? Because it's not a joke, sir. It is complicated tax. Yes, after returning from the South Korea, and again, I am far from the Kathmandu. There is no facility of the research which I had done in the South Korea. But I am not staying here by closing the hand. I think myself, what can I do according to the environment of this state number four, seven? Therefore, nowadays, I am still involving doing some research. For example, first in first phase, I selected the different sample of the water depending on the depth, like 20 feet and 100 feet. 40 feet and 500 feet and I tested the different ions like the magnesium, calcium, nitrate which are very dangerous arsenic, dangerous for us and then I started to check the percentage of the iodine in the common salt. As we know that deficiency of the iodine in the common salt causes the different diseases like the goiter and excess amount may also lead to the disturbance of the immune system. Therefore, I collected the different sample in the Rangadi area in the borderline and I, I checked in my lab and determined the concentration of the com uh, iodine present in the common salt. Okay, sir. Okay, what thing should other individuals have to be a scientist like you, sir? First of all, the person should have the interest in it. Only not interested to getting the mark, uh, certificate should be interest in the field and 
most of the time should involve in the internet by searching the literature what types of the invention are going on and then he can develop own the idea what can i do because different scientists have done like this what could be the role of science and technology in teaching learning process science and technology is the backbone of the country not, not only the teaching because all you you and, uh, and me we are talking this is due to the science due to the science and technology different developed countries we as we know that nearly about 50 or 60 years before rice are transportable into the south korea now now let's see where is south korea do you see any kinds of possibility in far western developed regions to be a scientist because yes, we are back yes of course there are so many possibilities we have we have lessons in every program of the uh, uh political parties leaders they speak there is so many possibilities for the medicinal plants in state number 7 but it's too much late because here in our countries there are, there are so many ngo and and they are they study about the medicinal plant and on the other side so many students they take the medicinal plant and they study it in the lab so if if we want to commercialize those medicinal plant if we want to extract the medicine from the medicinal plant we have to take the permission from those countries where they can because they have the right we have to we have to process we have to pay millions of dollar because they they made the formula therefore it is too much less but we have, we should not be worried because so many plan therefore if the government if the state government make some budget if we give some horn we can start our research we can made our patent and can develop the trained industry and uh, for the sustainable development of the country yeah, we have to utilize our local resources yeah actually, actually okay, exactly okay sir you are not only a scientist you are also a, and you are also a lecturer or professor so what teaching techniques do you apply in teaching learning process actually teaching style of our country is basically in theoretical therefore we have how to we have to convert this in practical way practical way therefore for example in uh, bachelor level if some students are interested to do research we have to make plan teachers should make some plan uh, related to practical and if they are very uh, interested if they are very talented and we should award a state of program uh, state government should provide some small amount of the budget for the student for inquiry okay sir what is your further plan in your coming my further plan is actually uh, i went in south korea for to pursue my study and my college give me leave for the for the study therefore i have to pick up i have so many opportunity because very easy to ship from south korea to us my professor also recommended one of american professor he uh, told me go to you can do poster but uh, uh, my college send me here therefore i return here because i uh, my this college also provide me salary therefore i return i want to do something in my country therefore uh, uh, nowadays i want to involve in research i want to do something in my country definitely sir we should have to do that thing and we are at the end of our program sir what suggestion would you like to leave to our teachers students and guardians who are watching our programs yes. i want to say all the stakeholder don't study only to take certificate you should involve 
in practical suppose you are most of these students nowadays they are involving internet only looking the facebook go in google and source for example some thing is developed how it is developed and if you want to to see the youtube you see the some video there is so many videos are uploaded in the youtube Okay sir thank you for your valuable time and wishing you all the best for your future thank you very much you and your difficult entertainment group for giving me the opportunity for this information for this stuff thank you today we have discussed with the most dazzling and energetic personality who did of young scientist award 2074 by Nepal Academy of Science and Technology and he is assistant professor dr prem singh sawan in our program thank you everyone for watching our program and thank you very much anil ayna sok for your technical support so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel thank you stay with us